Hi Vasas, Puppeteer here again, another micro tutorial. This one's probably going to take a little bit longer. We've had a request uh, from a subscriber on the on the Mastering Fast forums uh, to use cascading layers to get a filter envelope controllable by envelope controller and thus the sliders. So um, what we're going to do here is we're going to cover a few things. We Basically we're going to use a um, DSP oscillator uh, on one layer. We might as well use one of the big juicy uh, you know, four block ones. Then we're going to cascade that to a second layer and then on that second layer we're going to assign an envelope to control it. Um, it'll be the amp envelope in this case and then we're going to assign sliders to control the attack um, decay and the um, release. Okay, so let's get into this. Starting on default program 999. Okay, we're going to go in. We're going to immediately go into the algorithm and we're going to change this to this nice big fat number five. And we're going to go and find the sync saw. Okay, and then um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer. So back here we've got um, new layer. And then on this layer we are also going to select algorithm, in this case 105. Okay, um, and 105 is the same as 5 except this one here, this cascades it. So we want it, the alternative input, we want it from layer 1. So layer 1, now layer 1 outputs and also goes to um, the layer 2. So we're going to go back to the layer 1 and we go to the amp page and we need to turn that off. So turn that all the way down to minus 96. Okay, so we've got a lot of gain on this one. So let's take that down to minus 12. Okay, so on the algorithm page of this, let's put the... Um, Let's find the Moog low pass. Okay, and that's, you can hear that is in action here. We're going to put a little bit of resonance on it so we can hear what we're doing. So let's just go up to the resonance. Let's put 12 dB on there. And now we're going to go and we're going to sign the envelope to it. So what we want to do is turn, we turn this down to pretty low. And we're going to set the envelope, which is here somewhere. MM. Okay, and let's uh, set lots on here. It's uh, 9600. <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's go into the envelope now. When it's set to natural, it's set to whatever key map is set um, on that layer, and which is probably piano. Yeah, the piano. So it will borrow the the envelope off here if you keep it in natural. We don't want to do that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it onto user, and let's. Uh, Let's, put Let's uh, do some parameters here. Okay, so what we've got now is we've got the um, envelope on layer 2 is controlling the filter cutoff. Okay, now what we can do is we can go into the envelope controllers on here and then we can assign sources. So I'm going to use A, B and the sliders A, B and C. So let's change that to A. That one will change to B. B and this one we're going to change to C. Okay. Um, so we leave the adjust the adjust the key track. You can use key track and velocity, but what we're going to play with is the depth. So I've got the um, the data slider all the way up there. Okay, so that's going to take um, a lot more time. And we can do the same on the on the other two. So. So let's do 
that's just like that's what it is and as well and we can do the same thing with that. So we can and now it takes a lot longer for the, that release to come down. Okay, so uh, you can go back and you can have a you can have a play around. So we'd probably make this decay a bit shorter because now we can modulate it. what we've done now we've used that envelope control to um, use sliders a b and c i'll leave that page up there for the end of the video so you can see what we've done and we've controlled um, we've assigned that to the filter cutoff on a cascaded layer using the moog filter that um, is triggered off a um, dsp oscillator so that's base that's the basis of pretty much all of your dsp um, and or, so, sorry, the VA1 style sounds on the PC3. This is really the basis of it. So you got a DSP oscillator, cascade it into a big juicy filter. You can cascade it into more than one. So you can have it go three, four layers if you want. Put a high pass at the front and then a low pass, um, and then assign an envelope. And you can on layer one, you can see that the envelope hasn't been affected, so it's still on a natural envelope. But you can you can um, control that. So that will control. Um, uh, that will control not much actually. <laughs> you can use this control pitch because it's not getting output out of here. So layer two, just uh, one word of warning, layer two, this is also controlling the amp envelope as well as the filter. If you wanted a separate amp envelope, you'd have to cascade it to a third layer and you'd use the amp envelope on layer two to control the filter and layer three. So we can do that right now if you like. So um, we go in, we go to new layer okay and let's just, let's just set up some values here okay, so two outputs at the moment so we need to go back down to layer two we need to turn off the um, sorry we need to go into DSP control go down to the level Turn that down, layer three, let's set that to minus 12. So layer three, let's set it to um, 105 and use this to select layer two. Okay, so now we've got a separate, la a separate envelope controlling um, the amplitude on layer 3, a separate amp envelope controlling the filter on layer 2 and the layer 1 um, filter, uh, layer 1 amp envelope is then available to control the pitch for example if you wanted to. Okay so I hope that gives you um, a bit of an outline of uh, how, how you can use the cascading functions to um, control envelopes. Uh, the other thing you may also want to have a look at doing, I've I've produced a plugin uh, for a VST and AU plugin called um, the PC3 Envelope Controller. Uh, that allows you to directly modulate um, the envelopes, um, all three of them. Uh, so you can control all three of these envelopes on any layer, uh, on any MIDI channel that you want. Um, you can download that from godlike.com.au. Uh, just go to the software and there's a PC3 um, envelope controller it's available for free uh, though I would appreciate it if you get a lot of joy and happiness and lots of pc 3 out of it um, sign up as a subscriber to the Mastering Fast forums um, and help keep us online okay take care guys I hope this has been insightful and I'll do a few more of these before I head to bed tonight catch ya